Got the old man fixed up with an Apple TV this morning, he did. So he watches Netflix and everything else. So that was a pretty productive morning. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsiv's YouTube channel. Welcome to Life with Bilsiv, I'm your host Bilsiv. I went to uh, went to see my grandma today because she's been not feeling very good. She's 98 years old almost and she's not feeling very good. So I went by to see her and met my mom there. But my mom went down and got in and well, I was setting up dad's TV because he still just lives down the street from my grandmother. And uh, she told my mom, I'm tired. I don't want to see anybody. There you go. Got shut down before I even got down. Friggin' right we did. But I went around, seen the old stomping grounds there, did a little fly over that, see what happens. See if my ponds are still there, so they are. I won't tell you where it is, but I'll show you a picture real quick. There you go. What do you think of that? That's it. That's my first house I bought right there it is. Little, little guy. That would have been paid off by now if I kept that place. Oh well, hey, it is what it is, it is. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take a ride over here, I'm gonna get some fuel, fill up the truck, and I gotta take the kids, well, I gotta take my daughter and her friend and the wife to a drive through parade today. So Surrey, Ontario is having what they call a Santa Claus parade drive through So it's gonna be nothing but a cluster, F, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the kiddies to do. So if it's any good, I'll record it just in case, and we'll see if it's any good. We're gonna take a drive through downtown Sarnia, See if there's anything going on. Get some fuel. What do you think of that? It's Saturday today. Getting cocked right over I am with headaches. Frank, a lot of headaches anymore, Jim. Leave your comments down below if you think you know why. Probably because I'm spending money on an engine. That's why. Like, why? Better stop. Red light. Oh, are they unloading the ships again over there? It's a different one. Decent. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Ooh, 7-Eleven looked like they got some new pumps they did. It's about freaking time. I think the last time they put pumps in that place was 1992. That's the oldest 7-Eleven in Sarnia right there. It's the only one left, I think, too. I figure it's the only one left. Why don't you get your truck higher in the air because, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna jack my truck up, man. Cool. Meanwhile, I got an interlock in it because I've been drinking and driving too much. Oh, what's going on here? Just say no. Just say no to what? To the mask. Say no to the mask. What is really, what is wrong with people? <laughs> Just say no to the mask. Losers. There's like 10 of them out there. Oh, I see a big ship. Junky old looking fucking ship. Why wouldn't I? Let's go. I can't see nothing. Captain. Yeah. Anyone want to go to the nudie bar? The old river portage. Doesn't that sound just like a nudie bar? River port? <laughs> it's a classic fucking name for a strip joint. Should call it the ship port. <laughs> That's where you go and park your boat, Captain. Right in the port hole. Oh. But he's doing his own roof. He's full of piss and vinegar. I quit. I quit before you even start. Have fun with that, Jim. Where's all your buddies? What are you doing? Should take a little fly over the tunnel, see if there's any trains coming out of the tunnel. That'd be kind of cool. One day I might get lucky enough to catch you guys a train coming out of the tunnel, which I don't care if that's on my train video or not. That'd be kind of cool. Anything coming down the hill? Nothing. Why wouldn't I have a gander? Let's park right here. Danger. Don't do this and that and the other fucking thing. Why would you? Beep, beep, beep. There's an update for this drone too. I gotta make sure I give that the old updated Ruski here when I get home. There's always an update for this drone. How you doing? How you doing? Take, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Maximum altitude reached. Why wouldn't it be maximum altitude reached? Come on. The home point has been updated. There Please we go. Check it on the map. Oh, oh, we're not even to the tunnel yet. There's a tunnel. Captain? Anything coming? Let's have a gander. Nothing. Well, CN guy. Figure he's the CN guy. Let's go down and have a look. Let's go down and have a look in. Oh, yeah. Jim. Tell you one thing with the old Zoom, it, uh, you seem like you're lower than what you are, that's for sure. I know someone that lives over here, too, somewhere. Let's go over there and have a look. How you doing? How the hell are you doing, bud? Are they home? Nope. Not home. I'll tell you what. Doesn't take long to get to the other side of that friggin' overpass. Chemical Valley, everyone. How you doing? Look at that. What a nice view. Yeah, that's Chemical Valley. That's where everything stinks. And there's a bridge way over there. Can we see it from here? Sure can. Just. 
There you go. How you doing? Well, I'm going to come back and land her and this and that and the other fucking thing. You almost think I knew what I was doing or something, eh? You just relax yourself. I'll tell you one thing, the engines on the old drone don't get hot in this weather. She's nice and cool from being up in the sky, she is. <laughs> so just so you know, the in-car charger works on the Maverick Air 2 as long as you have over 13 volts. If you have under 13 volts, then it shuts off, comes on, shuts off, comes on, shuts off, comes on. Just make sure when you charge your batteries, you have the truck running or the car running or whatever, and they're fine. They do charge pretty quick, about the same as a house, but at least with a actual DJI charger, you don't fry your batteries out. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to that one battery I had. I used an aftermarket charger and it just didn't balance charge it properly because they are a LiPo battery and they're a three cell. So I'm pretty sure it cocked it over. Make sure if you're gonna get an in-car charger for your Maverick Air 2, you get the one that belongs with it. I tried to put a power inverter in the truck to use a home one, but it doesn't seem to work. So I don't know, and it's a true sign inverter, but it just doesn't seem to work. Maybe I didn't give it long enough. I don't know. I landed the drone perfect time. It's starting to rain. Rain and drones don't go well together. Unless it's a waterproof drone. But I don't know of too many waterproof drones. Leave your comments down below if you know of a waterproof drone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button too. Why wouldn't you? And I ordered some of my own merch. So I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like on the video. In case you want to know. So when that comes in, we'll be showing you that. Because that's what I do. I know I haven't had too many videos out this week. But I've been taking it easy. Put a long one out there for you. 30 minute or just shoot the shit with the boys. Video something different that I don't normally do. I figure what the hell. So that's done. There you go. Because I love you guys. And I want you to know what's really going on. But I'm going to get some fuel from the old reserve. Because it's 98 in Sarnia. A liter. So we're going to go over here to the reserve. And we'll see how much their fuel is. It's probably going to be in the 84 range I would think. Maybe a little higher. Maybe 86-ish. So let's take you back here and we'll check it out. We did go a long way. I should have went through that other road, but hey, we're not in that big of a rush. Hey. Holy, I'm daydreaming right now. Snap out of it, Bill. I'm staring at nothing. I put some sea foam in the old Chevy Silverado there, the tank full of go. And I think it made a difference on my kilometers because normally the truck's harder on fuel in the winter, like when it's colder out, but I've got over a week out of this tank of fuel over a week a week and two days so that's very rare so i'm thinking the sea foam actually worked it cleaned her out a little bit made her run a little smoother she's definitely running smoother listen to her how you doing hey how you doing bud girl can't tell there we are you got a flower steering wheel so well a chick unless you're a little on the you know side then i'm not gay my boyfriend is so we're gonna take the back road here because that's what i like to do not too many people think the old back road. This house is still sitting there on stilts. Looks like they're gonna build another gas station there, you watch. No dumping. People should be dumping back here anyways. What's really going on? Dump your shit somewhere else. Arse clowns. There is garbage back here. What is wrong with people? 40 fuel or Gen 7. Which one do we want to hit today? Eeny, meeny, miny, moski. Let's hit the old 40 fuel. I go to both of these gas stations just so everyone knows. They might as well. Support of both, they're giving us a deal. Let's see how much it is. It is 86. Frig, it was close, eh? It's good enough for me, man. 86 is better than 98. So let's whack this bitch. There we go. They even got the old uh, hand pumps where you can pump themselves. And you put the lock on, away they go. They did away with them in a lot of uh, gas stations here in Canada. Where you, because of a safety issue, I guess. Here, we are golden. Let her run. She'll probably take about 60, well, it's that quarter tank, so probably about, I don't know, 60 bucks, maybe 59 bucks. Oh yeah, just crank on that shit. Big tattoo below her ear. Eh? She's a little tramp in her day. Pretty right she was. You were dirty, weren't you, in your day? I can tell by looking at you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were. Pretty right she was. We've got a dodge pulling in beside us. You dodge guys, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Leave your comments down below and tell me I want to know. Dodge drivers, Dodge Ram drivers are like Volvo drivers. They're like their own little clan. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me on that. Same with Chevy Silverado drivers, we're all a little clan too. I guess everybody's their own little clan, aren't they? Friggin' right there. Oh, yeah, tell me what you think of the Jeep drivers. Hey, there's a whole nother clan right there, Jeepers. 58. 
I was a little lower than I thought. It took uh, $64 and it was 73 liters, 73.6 liters. She's 90 liter tank, so that's how much I had left in there. I remembered it's 59 to 60 bucks if it's at 84 or 83, but it's 86 today. Holy fuck, it's cold out today. I should have a jacket maybe. But there you go, I forgot to take you along for the ride. I'm gonna slide on home now and see when the girls are gonna be ready to come back into town. I'll bring my cameras with me. Like I said, if I have any footage for you, I'll put it at the end of this video or maybe in the next video, we'll have to see. But love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And until next time, you know what to do for now. Mm -hmm.